Hi all, I am Saranya, working as an assistant professor in Department of English in Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Let's have a discussion on the Unit 1 in the paper Indian Writing in English. It starts the discussion with the overview of Indian Writing in English, which started during the British rule in India. Indian Writing in English began its emergence of East India Company in India. So when East India Company spread its wings in the Southern Peninsula, so where English language has influence. Indian writing in English is referred as the Indian English literature, the work which was done by the Indian writer in English language. The first book by Indian writer is The Travel of Deen Muhammad, was written by Sheikh Deen Muhammad in 1793. The theme of Indian writing in English portrayed the Indian culture such as traditional value, contemporary modern issue. The father of English novel is Mulkro Jonath. So the growth of Indian writing in English based on the two phases. The first phase is the period of literary renaissance and the second phase which kindled the romantic spirit and also followed by the first phase. The gradual of growth of in novel form has begun in 20th century. So we consider Mulkra Chonan, R.K. Narayan and Rajaro as the trinity of Indian writing English. So later there were so many writers or emers such as Salman Rusti, Nayantra Sagal, Anita Desa and Vikram Seth. The objective of this paper is to introduce the literary books of Indian writing in English to impart the knowledge of Indian culture from ancient to modern India, to enable the learners to realize the value of Indian literature in practical aspect of life. The unit one has a five poem, The Harp of India, The Patriot, The Freedom and Introduction and Absence. The first poem, The Harp of India was written by Henry Louis Vivian de Rochia. He is the first modern poet. Harp is used as a main symbol throughout this poem. The symbol represents the Indian poet's culture, tradition, art and literature. The poem has a poetical background because it was written in 19th century which reflects the colonization of India. The poem has two parts, octave and sister. In octave, the poet describes the abandoned harp which is a metaphor and it also acclaims the loss of art and literature. The second part says that it reflects the fame of poet to be celebrated after the death because that work it was in the mind of the reader. So finally he called all the readers to, have, to play the harp to review the art and literature. The second poem is Patriot. It was written by Nizam Mesikal. He is considered as the father of post-independent poetry and it was written in 1977. So in this poem, the poet described the half baked Indian English as English is used as a second language for us. Most of the people speak Babu and Pigtin English. So Pigtin English is refers the certain English Hindi words are used in English. The poem described the speaker of free speaker's devotion towards his country. It is an ironical poem which criticizes the Indian adopt foreign habits. So when we are influenced the foreign habits, it defeat our Indian cultural and tradition. We are degrading our culture and tradition. The theme of the poem rewards the burning desire of peace in post-independent era. The next poem is Freedom, written by Jayan Mahabhatra. He is the Sagitya Academy Award winner. This poem compares the contrast, the life of the politician and godman. The poem was written after the 50 years of independence. So even though we got independence, still some people are poor and they are starving to death. The poem sheds the light on inequality and reveals the paradoxical state of life. Throughout this poem, the poet creates the freedom to be recreate, which is the golden glory of past and present, which leads future. The theme of the poem is the freedom, death and patriotism. The next poem is an introduction was written by Kamala Das. She described the own mental and emotional state in this poem because she was aged and pushed back again in the patriarchal society. She compared the role of men and women in the society. The poet is when she tried to come out from the traditional role of a woman, she was advised by everyone to perform the role of domestic women and wife. She rebelled against the oppression. Later she found so many women in our country rebel against the dominant rule. She explored the theme of feminism, equal rights, freedom and marriage in this poem. The last poem is Absence was written by Dom Horas. He builds the unusual ideas in the poem. He described the old of nothingness after the word because after the word,